Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I underestimated the weather again. I'm the scent maven and I underestimated the weather. It says it's 41 degrees out, but it feels much colder than that. I did need a scarf and a hat. I'm wearing a hoodie. So today is a big day. Today I go see the dentist and I will uh, get my post and crown. So Malcolm is not in the car with me for that reason. And um, first I'm going to the supermarket to get fruit and yogurt. Then I have to go to my mom's house to put drops in her eyes. Then I have to go to the dentist. Now, I weighed myself this morning. Remember I told you my weight was fluctuating because it was woman time. And when you have woman time, you retain a lot of water. So I weighed myself this morning, and according to this morning's weight, which I don't know if the scale is lying to me, I'm down 26 pounds. 26. That's, that's impressive to me, yes. I mean, I should be down 30 pounds because it's been over three months, but I'll take the 26, so... And then I didn't tell you guys, my neighbor downstairs, the one that has me buy cigarettes for her, which she just had me do recently, and they're up to like 1765, something like that. Um, when I'm in my bedroom, I can hear her watching Wheel of Fortune and Family Feud through the wall. So, but I don't say anything to her because I put on my meditation app and I need to fall asleep to the sound of something anyway so it doesn't you know what am I gonna do it's a little annoying you know because the wheel of fortune you keep hearing bing bing you know every time somebody gives an answer and then you, you know also you have to hear wheel of fortune you know so anyway I'm gonna go get my fruit I really should let this car warm up for longer because it is so cold yeah I think I should let it warm up a little longer Okay. Okay. All right, so I'm at my mom's and uh, I'm gonna do her drops. I only bought one of the herbal essences. I bought my favorite one. The mimosa one smell like orange starburst. The strawberry and mint was okay, but it wasn't my favorite. So I ended up only getting one, even though they were on sale for $4.99. And the old me would have bought all three. I only got one. This is my favorite one. This is the herbal essences. Revitalized micellar water and blue ginger shampoo. This smells so, so good. It's hard to describe what it smells like. It smells like blue agave. Like that cactus blue agave candle from Bath and Body Works. Or the cactus blossom. It smells so, so good. Yeah, anyway. I got that. I brought my toothbrush with me because I brushed my teeth this morning, but um, I had fruit and yogurt, and now I'm going to the dentist, and I want pieces of fruit in my teeth, so I brought my toothbrush and toothpaste so I could brush my teeth again before I go to the dentist. So that is what I am going to do. Okay, so I'm at the dentist. I'm an hour early. I got here early because sometimes, most of the time, there's no parking. But I looked out and there was parking. So I don't know if they'll see me early or if I'll be sitting here for an hour. You know, I went to my mom's house to do the drops and she was dressed and she had a list of errands she was going to do. And she's like, oh, when you're done with the dentist. I was like, no, no. I took the day off because I'm having surgery 
you know, they have to dig out the temporary filling. They put, have to put a, like a screw into my jaw and put a crown on it. And they're probably going to inject me with all kinds of Novocaine. Last time I was so, so tired, so sleepy from it. Um, and that's the reason why I took the day off. Not so I can run errands with you. Not today. You know, if it was like a Saturday or and I wasn't working or something, yeah. Okay, but you know, not when I'm, I'm doing this. Okay, so let's see what they have to say. Okay guys, you ready for this? My face is still numb. So I go there, right? I was supposed to get a post and crown. And they tell me the suction machine that they put in your mouth to absorb the water is not working. And they weren't gonna do the post and the crown in one day anyway. So I must have misunderstood. So what they do is they, uh, she's like, we can do the post today, but you'll have to, keep, we'll have to keep stopping and you'll have to keep rinsing out with water, um, rinsing out with a cup of water because we don't have the suction machine is not working. And, uh, then she goes, then if the suction machine had been working, we would shave down your tooth. And then that would be the end of today's visit. Oh, and then they would fit me. They would fit me for the crown. Then I'd have to come back in two weeks for them to put the crown in. So if they don't, so they, she said to me, we expect the machine to be fixed by today. Maybe you can come back before the end of the day. So if I come back before the end of the day, I can have my tooth shaved down and knock those two things out and get fitted for the crown and only have to come back once. But if the machine is not working and they can't get me to come back, then I have to come back two more times. All right, oh, and I forgot to ask them for a doctor's note from my boss, who is a pain in, Never mind. Okay, so I went back and I got my note. Just in case they don't call me back to come in today, to get my tooth shaved and to get my crown fitted. So my face is still numb, all numb here. My, my camera cut off. So my face, my I'm all numb over here. They didn't give me as much Novocaine as they did last time, but they did give me Novocaine and it did feel like she was, you know, screwing a post, a screw into my jaw. Let's see, what does it look like? doesn't look like anything it just looks like a tooth I thought there'd be like a gold piece sticking out or something but so it feels so weird yeah so it was strange like I said to her because they're not, they weren't they don't have the suction thing in your mouth so you're constantly rinsing this stuff out so it feels like there's I said is it gonna be disgusting it's just like no it's just gonna feel like there's dirt in your mouth because they're shaving your tooth and putting the post in so that's what it tasted like it tastes like dirt and of course the Novocaine is very very bitter they inject it into your gum this guy wants my parking spot they inject it into your gum and then you know whatever sp spills into your mouth is very bitter and then after she's like oh we're gonna clean up the tooth and then we're gonna put this like this salve 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 whatever you call that stuff and she's like I'm warning you now it's gonna be very sour it was really I mean it was like sour 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 I was like that is disgusting so yeah I can't believe I was worried that they weren't going to be able to do anything at all because when I was sitting there I kept hearing them like talk to each other like whispering about how the machines weren't working and you know what could be done and what couldn't be done and it would just be my luck that this would happen today so hopefully hopefully they call me back they said that they if the machine gets fixed and if the woman who is unconfirmed for three o'clock doesn't come in, then I can come back. But I still have to, if I do come back, like I said, for the tooth to be shaved down, I'm fitted for the crown. I still have to come back for the crown. So I should be off. I will be off of the week of Christmas. They have nothing available that week. I put in for the week after Christmas. 
I put in for a two week vacation. Only one week got approved. I'm still waiting for the other week to get approved. So um, they only have the week after Christmas. I guess a lot of people are having getting their dental work done. I don't know. Trying to, uh, I'm gonna try to get the feeling back in my face. Feels weird. Not as weird as last time, but still feels weird. It's almost lunchtime. Maybe I will have. She said I could eat. Um, maybe I will have a turkey burger. Oh, the other thing is, this woman she'll be off like a normal person. Uh, she took off the last two weeks of the year, so she won't be back until January. Um, and I really like her. I was like, I want you know when I come back, I want to see you. And she's like, no, our other dentist, I won't be here, but our other dentists are very good. Don't worry, everything will be okay. So let's hope, let's hope. <clears throat> okay, well, I guess the dentist didn't get their machine fixed, her, his machine fixed, their machine fixed. Because it's a dental group, but my dentist is the dentist I saw today and the one I saw last time was the same dentist as a woman. Now that makes a difference, but I guess she didn't get her machine fixed because they they never called me uh, and they close at 6 and it's 4.39 now. So it's unlikely that they're going to call me. Um, so I guess I'm going to have to make another two trips uh, to the dentist. Uh, one during New Year's week. Uh, for the filing down of the tooth and the crown measurement and then another for the crown to be put on so um, there's that yeah I'm gonna go and put the final drops in my mom's eyes for the day uh, the evening drops because um, I have a, a virtual meeting to be at tonight at 7 so uh, I'm telling you that Novocaine just knocked me out. Knocked me out. I came home. Uh, I, you know, I had something to eat. I, I came home and uh, I just, uh, out cold. Just out cold. And I still feel sleepy. Maybe I'm just overtired just from being overtired. But I really think it's the Novocaine because... That's is exactly what happened last time. You know, they although this time I think they give me slightly less, slightly less Novocaine. Still makes me tired. And I keep saying I'm gonna wear a uh, a coat. I keep saying I'm gonna wear a hat and a scarf because it's cold. And I keep not wearing a hat and a scarf. Uh, and it's 42 degrees, but I, it definitely had in scarf weather. So. Yeah. This house that I showed you the other day, the people said to me, oh, don't criticize them. They're just being festive. Oh. Can you, can you see? No. I'm going to have to take the camera off here. Hold on. So this house that you guys said were just being festive, it would be festive if it didn't have like every single kind of Christmas. It's like Santa's and it's, they're not lit up now, but those snowflakes blink. And the 2022, the two blinks. And the Santa actually says ho, ho, ho when you walk past him. It's just, it's too much Christmas everything. It's like every, every possible, it's like Santa's, Nutcracker, Snowflakes, Happy New Year. It's just too much, too much stuff. I was, I was just making an observation. I'm not pooping on their Christmas. Oh, they just turned all the lights on. They just literally just now just turned all the lights on. Hold on. Okay, like can you see? See, it's just like it's like flashing snowflakes and 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 waving Santa and the 2022 that lights up. It's just it's just so much all at once. So, like I was trying to say, I'm not trying to poop on their Christmas. I'm very happy that they're festive and they want to be festive. It's just, uh, it's tacky. It's tacky. That's the word. It's tacky. Happy tacky Christmas. 
Uh, yeah, but I mean, let them let them be filled with the joy of the season. I'm not I'm not saying anything against it. I'm saying it's too much for my eyes. For personally, for my eyes, it's a little overwhelming. But absolutely, if they want to be filled with the spirit of the Christmas season, let them be filled with the spirit. You know, people said to me, you know, don't, don't, don't they're just being happy. You know, don't don't take that away from them. I'm not trying to take it away from them. I'm just was. Just making a, a, a simple observation. You know, if they like it, good for them. For me, it's a bit much. So now I'm going to go to my mom's house to do her drops. <clears throat> I'm waiting a few seconds because um, every time I splice together clips, it seems like my voice takes a few minutes to come up. I don't know why. It's the editing tool that I use. So anyway, I forgot to tell you guys that... The reason that it takes two weeks for the crown is because they have to send the measurements out to the company that creates the crown. So it's very similar to like when you go to get your eye eyeglasses. You know how you go to the doctor for your eyeglasses and he, uh, you know, examines your eyes and then, you know, does the measurements for the frames or whatever it is. And then the company produces the frames and puts them in. Uh, produces the lenses and then puts them in the frames so they have to produce the crown that fits your tooth base um, which makes sense because I was thinking to myself how are they going to put a post in a crown how will they know um, what crown will you know will fit on top of my tooth I thought maybe they had you know small medium large crowns I don't know what I was thinking and that that they they shape it there. Like I said, I, I don't know what I was thinking. So, uh, no, they have to send out the measurements and the crown is, is made for you. And they send to them and then they install it. So she said that, um, that that part, the actual attaching of the crown is not a, a big thing. So maybe I wouldn't have to take a whole day off for that. Um, she said that you know, they just kind of pop it on, I guess. Um, but the, the other thing, the other thing about, you know, shaping the tooth to be prepared for the crown, that's another uh, Novocaine and need suction type thing. So that's going to be fun. Yeah. I'm going to have my dinner. This Malcolm is smelling right there. I'm going to have my dinner and get ready for my meeting. So I'm going to end up closing out this vlog. But I know you guys, I know, not for you. I know you guys love to see the duty master of the universe. Did you miss me, duty master? Did you miss me with every wrinkle? Come on. He's just looking for food. Did you miss me with every wrinkle? Did you miss me? Make me believe it. Make me believe it. Are you shaking your coolie? Shake your coolie. Shake your coolie. Shake your coolie. Make me believe it. Make me believe that you miss me with every wrinkle. Make me believe it. Oh, you're drooling, drooling. Say hello to the people out there in YouTube land. Say hello. With your squishy face. You got like boogers on there. What is that? All right, so I'm going to have my dinner and Malcolm is going to stare at me. Right, Malcolm? So, we're going to end this vlog now. So, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, or else you'll make Malcolm sad. And I will see you, oh, and follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. And I will see you all tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas. But until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.